you have a car and that car served you many years and the car didn't do anything wrong to you whatsoever the car was stolen and you want to let it be taken by whoever to trash it this is a sign that you don't have any responsibility sense of uh, love okay in your heart you are totally self-centered you only want to live happy and you only want to live comfortable you don't really care about the most close friend you have in your life which is your car because your wife is not here your children is not here your grandchildren is not here and the car is your best friend you're supposed to take care of your car when the car is stolen you should try all your best to harvest and take back and repair and safeguard you repeatedly don't want to even accept that tiny teeny little responsibilities as a man even for your car you don't want to accept responsibilities that make me easily say that you are too much self-centered now you say i am self-centered look at me if i am self-centered why then i'm not following my glory to make a lot of money and glorify myself if i'm truly self-centered why then in the holidays i'm not going to even visit my daughter who is only about 30 minutes away i have the money to pay for a taxi cab and go to oceanside and spend time with her okay during the holiday times i can easily buy a ticket to go spend time with uh, my son in la okay and i also have elder parents in china and i'm supposed to be there filial to spend time with them but i'm spending time with you okay i'm spending time with flushing people my mind is filled with other people every day i work hard day and night try to send out information greetings and my heart is filled with love and the joy for all the sentient beings and i recite master lee's teaching and i continue to walk my path and i try to help you with all these hours and you point a finger to me saying you're always the best you think you're bad i think you have a war sin well what is war right now i don't even exist in the human world there is nothing in this human world belongs to me and i want nothing from this human world and the only purpose I'm here in the human world is to try to fulfill my sacred vow to deliver the truth that can bring people to salvation. And I'm delivering to you. And you treat me with great disrespect. And when you have this so dangerous thinking and wrong thinking, I'm trying to teach you something, you treat me with big disrespect. You bang your hands in front of me. Giving me some fruit, giving me a Christmas card is something that you want to get one word from me. Thank you. I cannot thank you for it. Why? Because if you buy the fruit with your wrong ideas and your fruit carries your message, I cannot eat your message into my body because my body goes against your wrong ideas. That's why I vomit. Okay. You ask me why I promise to do this and that and still haven't done it. I tell you why. April last year, this year, April, I already got all the papers ready for the Sacred Virtual Institute 501c3 nonprofit organization. You suddenly want to take a trip to Korea claiming that you need to go see your family. But the reality is that you want to see Shen De Dao people and you want to get recognition. You made a false promise to them that you are building a Shen De Dao subdivision in New York. And you betrayed me and haven't seen that. And Mass Lee called me to shut down the application immediately. Because if you and me are together as a Sacred Virtual Institute founders, and you are secretly turning this whole thing into a religious establishment. How can I lie to the US government to file the papers? Ever since
since then, nothing is smooth. Okay? The moment you have that evil thought, car is stolen, and nothing is coming good to you. That car is not my car. Why that car is keep on being stolen? You need to think about it. Okay, I try to rescue the car. And in the process of rescuing the car, right now the items inside of the car, many of the entire charter school properties were put in the car. I told you I need to bring it back to this office immediately. You say it's garbage. You don't want to allow me to bring anything back into the office. I respect you. I thought, okay, you don't want to bring here, then it's not meant for you. I'm going to wait until all the items will be secured into another location. Okay. So then the car disappeared. And then the car is retrieved. And then you still never forget. You want to quickly get rid of that car as quick as possible to avoid any trouble. Your mind is thinking about, oh my God, this letter from Geigo keep on coming to me. Me and my wife's name will be uh, in trouble. Oh, the $20, what about $20 is still in my name? Your mind is all fear of, about your own selfish ag agenda. Okay, so you keep on, every time I walk out here, you go, oh, another $20 today, you need to do something. Not knowing, fundamentally, this is what happens. It's the car. It's a car who helped you many, many years. This is a car that symbolizes your connection with HMART. I still don't know the whole story about it, but I know that this car belonged to HMART. You said president? Anyway, it is from HMART. Whoever that comes into your hand, it symbolizes your good relationship with HMART and you worked for HMART. You use a car to walk, to, to, to transport, uh, transport the income uh, of the store, store uh, from HMART to the bank, most likely. And you had those responsibilities as a worker for HMART. In any case, that car was in your name, registered in your name, right? And then eventually ownership transferred also into your name. I don't know when did that happen, but most likely it was 